Thought for the day, brothers and sisters. Today I was reading in the book of Numbers, Numbers chapter 24. When we get to verse 13, we read of the prophet here, Balaam, some of his writings or oracles, and he's saying to a man by the name of Balak, who's being asked, Balaam is being asked a lot of things to be done. And he says, all I can do is what God tells me to do. In verse 13, today I wanted to speak about obedience, obedience to God, obedience to the authorities in our lives. I remember growing up as a young boy, my mom who passed away last year, I often think of her. But I remember when I was younger, my mother would say, be home by 10 o'clock. And I would say with my lips, yes, ma, I'll be home by 10 o'clock and not get home till 12, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. That's not showing obedience. That's not showing love to her. You know, lip service is nothing. It's your actions. It's obedience to the one that you say that you love or respect is by obedience. In James chapter 1, verses 22 to 25, the Bible tells us that we are not only to be hearers of the word of God with our ears, but doers in the way we live our life. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ himself said in the Gospel of Luke chapter 6, verse 46, Why do you call me Lord and not do as I tell you to do? You see, my friends, a tree is known by its fruits, not by its suits. You often hear me say that. People look at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. God looks at obedience. He wants us to be obedient to him. As a matter of fact, that's the litmus test. One of the litmus tests of our life that we truly belong to the Lord is that we'll obey him. As I said before, if I truly loved and respected my mother, I would listen to what she had told me to do. And a matter of fact, if I had listened to her more, I would have kept myself out of a lot of trouble looking back that I got myself into. And in the same way, we can prosper in our lives. Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 23 tells us that we will truly prosper in life, be good in life, be healthy in life if we obey what the word of God tells us to do. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in the Gospel of John, John chapter 14, you can read in verse 15 and again in verse 21. Basically what Christ is telling us is there is that if we truly love God, we'll obey what he tells us to do. There's something that's repeated in the epistle of John. In 1 John chapter 2 verse 3 and in 1 John chapter 5 verse 3, we read both times there basically that if we say we know the Lord or want to be we want in our lives to be evident that we love the Lord, we'll obey what he tells us to do. Charles Stanley, who is a pastor, he's almost 90 years old now, often says, and I have one of his study Bibles, his Life Principles study Bible, he often says there's no substitute for obedience. My friends today, let us learn to obey what the Word of God tells us. I can remember when I got saved in 1985, at the age of 19, Looking back some 36 years ago, one of the first things I remember when I got saved was how much I loved to read the Word of God. Mark up my Bible, notes, underlying things, cross-referencing, beating up my Bible physically because I was reading it so much spiritually. And that's how I grew so much in my life, by reading the Word of God, obeying the Word of God. Psalm 119 is the longest chapter in the Bible. It's 176 verses. And you can read throughout that whole chapter of the Bible, practically every verse in that chapter of Scripture, Psalm 119, has to reference to the Word of God, obeying the Word of God, respecting God's Word. Psalm 119, verse 30 tells us that we are to set our minds on God's rules, have His rules, His words set before us each and every day. Not only reading it, as I said before, but obeying it. And I hope today, my brothers and sisters, we will have a hunger and a thirst to be obedient to God. We're obedient to God by reading his word. That's his revelation to us. I know there's a lot of people speaking about visions and dreams and tongues, and I don't really get into that too much. That's between a person and God. But God truly speaks to us through his word, his written word, the Bible, and through the living word, his son, Jesus Christ. Today, set the word of God before you, read it, obey it, and you will truly prosper in your life spiritually. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for all my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who will see this uh, devotional video today on social media. Lord, I pray that scripture verses that were spoken of here will 
be etched in our ears and our hearts, that we be obedient to your word, Lord God. As I said, the litmus test for us, if we truly love someone, is that we'll obey them. Whether it's our parents, whether it's our spouse, and ultimately, Lord, to you. Help us to truly obey your word in humility. Not just listening to it and walking away, as it says in James chapter 1, verse 22 to 25. As a person sees himself in a mirror and then looks away and forgets what they look like. Lord, help us to truly gaze into your word and truly glean out truths from your word today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Take care, my friends, and God bless you.